the road to the boys basketball state championship ensues, there are a lot of local teams duking it out in re the regional playoffs. Tonight, here are your hometown teams you can root for. Starting off with the regional quarterfinal matchups. Jacksonville Andrew Jackson at Bradford. Gainesville at Jacksonville Inglewood. Bue Holtz at Jacksonville Robert E. Lee. East Side at Palatka. Palm Coast Metzanas at Santa Fe. And as for the regional semifinals, Jacksonville Bishop Snyder at P.K. Young, St. Francis at Pensacola Christian, Hamilton County at Hawthorne, Newberry at number one Madison County, Crescent City at Dixie County, and Bell at Wildwood. The Florida Gator women's basketball team will host the Missouri Tigers tonight at the Exact Tech Arena at the O'Connell Center. The Tigers have been victorious in all five meetings in the series against UF. They are the only SEC team that has eluded a loss to the Gators. Mizzou is fifth in the SEC, while Florida hangs out at number 11. Statistically, here's how the two teams match up in the conference. Mizzou is performing much better in conference play than Florida, boasting a 7-5 record. The team's field goal percentages are comparable, but here's where there's some disparity. And three-point field goal percentage, free throw percentage, and points allowed, the, Gators blow, the Tigers blow the Gators out of the water. Florida will have to up their game in tonight's matchup. The Santa Fe Saints basketball team rallied past the Florida State College of Jacksonville last night to an 83-78 win. It was a tight race most of the game, but here are the top three plays you're going to want to see from the matchup. Number three, David Lee Jones says, give me that. He finds Nick Greer with a two-hand slam and absolutely flushes it. Jones again swipes it, this time dishes a perfect lob pass to Jacob Dawkins, an alley-oop layup that just looks way too easy. Now number one, Blue Waves Phil Bruce puts Greer on a poster. Print it, frame it, and put that thing up. Yikes, that one's embarrassing. Now, the women's game, that was an absolute thriller. Saints were up by 10 in the fourth quarter, but the Blue Wave chipped away at their lead. With a minute to go, Malaysia Robinson makes it a two-point game with a three-pointer. Next possession, Blue Wave are trailing. Megan Garcia goes up and gets fouled, makes one of two free throws, and now they get the ball back again. And Bailey busts out a post move, sinks the basket to put them in the lead by one. Man, is the momentum going there way. Now, Saints do have a chance to score, but Bailey, she comes in clutch again with the steal. She goes for the breakaway, draws a foul, and seals the deal. The Blue Wave win, 77-75. Gator football head coach Jim McElwain introduced his three newest additions to the coaching staff today, one of which is offensive line coach Brad Davis, who is replacing Mike Summers. Davis said when he played college football, he was undersized, which made him an overachiever, and he plans to do the same thing as a coach. This opportunity that I have right here, I, there, there's no leeway to come here and be average. Coach Mack didn't bring me here to be average or to, uh, you know, try to figure it out on the fly. I know what the expectations of Gator fans are. I have to be great at my job. So there's not been a day that I've been here or a day that I'm going to be here that I'm going to take being here lightly. So I expect the same from my players as well. He'll be out on the field with the orange and blue in just a few weeks when spring football starts up. Gator Athletics gained two more SEC titles yesterday thanks to the men's swim team. Caleb Dressel won his signature 50 free event and a combined effort from Dressel, Enzo Martinez, Scarp, John Witzkowski, and Jack Blazinski won the Gators' second consecutive title in the 200 free relay and they set a school record. Conference action continues in day three of competition. The men have a strong lead in first with 486.5 points. Now the women's team has some work to do. They're in seventh place with 238 points. Now, did you all happen to see what tennis star Jeannie Bouchard did on Twitter the other day? No, no, we have. I don't think we have. But you should tell us more about it. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So during the Super Bowl, she tweeted out that the Falcons were going to win it all. But then a fan made a bet with her, with her that if the Patriots win it, that it would also win him a date. You can see them going back and forth on Twitter. She traded her tennis skirt for a fur coat for the occasion, and then they got to sit courtside at the Knicks game. Man, what a great date for him.